All right, guys, take two. Hey guys, it's Lauren. I'm back with a one brand makeup haul for you today. And that brand is Wet n Wild. Now I love Wet n Wild. It is one of the cheap makeup brands, or if you're being polite, affordable makeup brands at the drugstore. I love it because it's so affordable. I can get a setting spray for five bucks or four and a half bucks and I can get an eye primer where my eyeshadow does not come off all day and that is also four and a half dollars. And so I wanted to try some of their newer and more colorful stuff. They have released three collections this year which are limited edition. Why am I doing the air quotes? Am I going to do that all video? I hope not. They released three limited edition collections so far this year. They released the Gothographic collection for spring. They released the Midnight Mermaid box at Ulta. And they released just last week the Flights of Fancy collection for summer. So I picked up items from all three of those collections from the Wet n Wild website. So I'm going to show you guys what I got and then I'm going to skip to some swatches and then I'll be back. I will go by the order that the collections were released in. So I wanted to pick up a couple of things from the Gothographic collection, which was the spring collection, I believe. It was the anti-mermaid, anti-unicorn collection that they came out with. So what I really, really wanted was this. It is a highlighter with a purple glow and it has a skull imprinted on it. This is called White Raven. This is one of two highlighters they released. The other one was more purple. I think it was called Purple Rain or something. When I got this and I swatched it today, it so, so good, so gorgeous. The closest thing I have in my collection to this is probably uh, Cubed, or is it Cube or Cubed in the Anastasia subculture palette. That's more of a pink flash. This is definitely more of a purple flash. This is not a review. This is really just a first impressions. I just got all this stuff today, so I really can't speak to the long wearing quality of them. I can just speak to how they swatched, but this, oh, my goodness. The other two things I got from the Gothographic collection were two of the, uh, what are these? <clears throat> these are the Liquid Catsuit Metallic Lipsticks. And I got this one because it's blue and it is called Pastel Grunge. And I got this one basically because of the name. It is a black glitter and it is called Death to Unicorns. I love it. Now, I opened these and swatched them up both today. They're very dry, they're very glittery, which is fine. I, I like the glitter, but they're not very opaque. And so I don't know um, if I just need to mix them up a little bit more or something. But you'll see in the swatches, they're very sheer. Um, and they're a little bit uh, clumpy. They're not great on first impressions, so I will have to see how these work out. I might end up using this one as an eyeshadow, same with this, or it could even be like a topper. The next collection they came out with was the Midnight Mermaid collection. Now this was a box that you could get at Ulta. It had a bunch of liquid lipsticks. They had a bunch of liquid eyeshadows. They also had a highlighting bar, which that's kind of what I really wanted, but you can only get that, I think, with the box. I didn't see it on the website at all. And I, the box is $30. It's now on sale for half price on Ulta. So now you can get it for $15, but I still don't want to pay $15 for a Wet n Wild highlighter. So I picked up two things from that collection on their website. So I picked up two of the Liquid Cat Suit Metallic Matte lipsticks. These are, whereas the other Gothographic ones were metallic, these are metallic matte. And I swatched both of these. This one is in Coral Crown. And this one is, it's a green, and it is in Siren's Jewel. I swatched both of these, and these are so gorgeous. They're metallic. They're pigmented in, like, one swatch, one layer. Uh, absolutely beautiful. I will definitely be wearing this one on my lips. Um, this one I'm not sure yet. I might wear this like in a video or something or again I might try it as eyeshadow, but wow I was really impressed with how beautiful these looked like the metallic in them was so gorgeous And hopefully that shows up in the swatches, but these I really like 
uh, I was really impressed with these. I knew I would wear this and I didn't have this color in my collection so for me $4.99 or $3.99 or whatever it was worth it to me. Now the new collection that they have released is the Flights of Fancy. It's a sort of hummingbird themed collection for summer and it's uh here's a sneak peek of what the collection is sort of looks like these flights of fancy right there it's got lots of birds of paradise flowers on it and some you can see hummingbirds there maybe you can see it there not really you'll see it in the uh you'll see it in the other pictures but this i decided to pick up because i was so in love with the blushes that they showed they um, created some new baked blushes. There's a very pink one, there's a lighter pink one, and there's the one that I got, which is more of a uh, peachy color. So I got this color. And you can see the hummingbird in there. There you go, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is in Hummingbird Hype. Now this is not actually going to be a blush for me. This is going to be more like a highlighter for me. And then I swatched it next to my Maybelline Master Chrome in Mol Molten Rose Gold. And this is just a little bit peachier than that. And it's not as finely milled, but it is almost the same thing. So this will definitely be when I feel like wearing away the little hummingbird, which not right now. But you'll see in the swatch, it's just a little bit and it was just oh so good so good so these two products these two powder products the mega glow highlighter and the color icon baked blush from first impression anyway wow just wow i also picked up this um lip gloss from the collection they didn't have any uh liquid catsuit um lipsticks with this collection so i picked up a gloss and this is the color icon gloss and basically got this one for the name too. It is called Shut the Pluck Up. <laughs> you can see the uh, hummingbird theme that they have going on right here. And it's a nice, it's what I have on my lips today. I am wearing it on top of the Super Stay Matte Ink from Maybelline in Ruler. They're pretty similar. This one does have a little bit of sparkle. But I don't really see it on the lips. It does go on. Took a, took a couple coats to get it nice and pigmented. So I'm really enjoying glosses right now. Like everybody else. And it's called Shut the Pluck Up. This is a set of nail polishes. They're just little mini nail polishes from Wet n Wild. I'll show you in the close-up some of them. I like about half of them. This is a glitter. These two are metallic. This one's a metallic. And then these two are creams very summery very pretty and this one especially this is kind of the showstopper right here this is the glittery one and this is called the higher life but it's got some really gorgeous jewel tones and then it's got of course your nice summery fluorescent colors there so i'm going to shut up for a minute and put on some music and let you see some swatches and then i'll be right back enjoy
Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed those swatches. That is my haul for Wet n Wild for today. I have a couple of other uh, videos coming up this week. I have a GameStop Funko Pop haul, and I also have an order coming in from Sephora, and I also ordered a Target Beauty box, <laughs> and there might be something else coming. I'm, I, I hate being one of those people that doesn't know what's coming to their door, but now I'm one of those people, and it's stupid. If you have not yet, go check out my Star Wars Day giveaway. Thanks to all of you who have entered so far. You've, you've really made my day with all your comments and the Han Solo quotes. It's really been fun. I really love to hear your comments, guys, so I hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.